Here's how I've automated the process of internal linking for my AI websites at scale. So it all comes down to the Linksy plugin. It's a bit like a Link Whisper style plugin, but there's a few things I prefer about it. So it has an algorithmic way of determining the best link in opportunities within each post. Internal links are very important. They help with the Google actually crawl your site and understand the relationships between your pages better. And that will add to your topical authority, but basically Google's always looking for expertise and authority in your niche. You basically want to be the Wikipedia of your niche. So part of that is internal linking, because not only does that help Google discover more of your content, but it also sees the relationship between your content better. So there's lots of theories about how Google can't really understand what's actually on a page so well. So it looks for more sort of broader things, so the relationships, the actual things you talk about on the page and the relationships between those things. That's where we start talking about entities, semantics, and internal links are a really important part of that. Internal links also allow you to pass the power of your backlinks more evenly across the website. So if you're building links to one of your pages and you've got loads of internal links all linking out to other pages, then those pages will inherit some of that link power through the internal links. So Linksy looks a bit complicated. It's got all these reports, add inbound links, things like that. So you can actually see suggested posts here. Here you can simply select quick apply. I often go for the top three and you'll see Linksy actually assigns a score out of 100 to each one. So I do just want to focus on great Good tends to get the majority. About around three to four per page is normally pretty good with me. So just click apply and that's done. And it'll automatically apply the top three recommendations. However, I also prefer just going directly into posts. And then whenever there's a new post, there's a helpful side panel here where again, we have the Linksy plugin and it's got an indicator of how good the internal link opportunity is. So again, I just do quick apply, take the top three, I might take it up to five, depending on how many good opportunities there are, and then click apply. Then we have those links automatically added to the page. The page is now refreshed, and we can see all those internal links have been added. Now, some people are recommending using OpenAI and algorithmically adding all your internal links using keyword-rich anchor text basically at scale. So every time you mention a certain keyword, that links to the one page on that keyword. I don't really see anything wrong with that, but there has been some concern lately about over-optimizing your internal anchor text. In other words, if your internal links all use keyword-rich anchor text, then there is a risk of penalty. Personally, at this stage, I don't really buy that. I think you control what's on your website. Google's not going to penalize you if you optimize your internal anchor text, why wouldn't you do that? But equally down the line, as we're getting more and more of these mass AI sites, it could well be that Google does start to prefer a more natural anchor text distribution. So that's why I like a plugin like this, where it just algorithmically detects where to insert the link in the most contextually relevant manner. And it will do that to the best of its ability without actually just stuffing keywords or anchor text onto the page. So that's my favorite way to do it. It's probably not the best. I think we'd all like a one-click internal links tool. And there are some out there, but for this stage, this works nice and easily for me. Links is intuitive, low cost, and my team knows that when an article goes live, they can just go through and instantly insert those internal links without having to think twice about it.